the equivalence point for complex and metric titration um, is a little more complicated than we've seen before. What we're going to do is say that um, we're going to start off assuming it completely reacts and then it will come to equilibrium. So what happens is that we have cadmium in solution. We add EDTA, which we give the symbol Y, and deprotonated is Y4 minus. We're going to say that's initially going to react completely. So you get the cadmium um, complex. Then it will come to equilibrium. So the complex will um, dissociate and give you back cadmium 2 plus and Y4 minus. Uh, in order to do an ice table, we need to know the initial concentration of the complex. And we can do that either by calculating the number of moles of cadmium initially or the number of moles of EDTA added and dividing by the total volume. So let's do it by um, measuring or figuring out the number of moles of cadmium in the solution. So this is the concentration of um, cadmium complex with EDTA. We're going to say that's equal to the number of moles of um, or the molarity of cadmium that we started with, which was 5 times 10 to the minus 3, times the volume of cadmium that we started with, which was uh, 50 milliliters or 0 0.05 liters. And then the total volume, we start off with 50 mils. We've added uh, another 25 to get to the equivalence point because the concentration of um, ETA was double the concentration of cadmium. So that's going to be 0 0.075. And we end up with our initial concentration of cadmium equal to 3.33 times 10 to the minus, doesn't look good, times 10 to the minus 3 molar. Okay, now we have to put that into the equilibrium. And the equilibrium we're looking at is actually the reverse of the formation constant. Now, I know the book does this a little differently, but this makes, um, it's kind of more intuitive to me. So this is actually 1 over the inverse of the formation constant, and this is the double prime formation constant. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but formation, so Kf is to form the complex. This is going the opposite direction, so we do 1 divided by. Um, and we can do our ice table. We know our initial concentration of cadmium. It's 3.33 times 10 to the minus 3. Uh, it hasn't reacted at this point. So we're going to lose some complex. It's a 1 to 1 again, so we gain the same number of moles of cadmium and EDTA 4 minus. So this will be 3.33 times 10 to the minus 3 minus x, and the products will be x. Now to get this k formation double primed, um, what we do for that, we have to account for the fact that not all the EDTA is going to be in the right form to complex, and also in this case there's ammonia present which can complex with the cadmium. So we take the formation constant, which you can look up, um, we multiply it by the fraction of EDTA in the form of EDTA4 minus. Again, we can look that up, depends on the pH. And the fraction of um, cadmium present as free cadmium ions, uh, which depends on the amount of ammonia, because ammonia can also complex with the cadmium. And that ends up um, given as a K double prime value. So the Kf is 2.9 times 10 to the 16. Uh, we multiply that by 0.37 times uh, 0 0.0881. That gives us a value of 9.5 times 10 to the 14. Once you have that value, you can just treat it like any other equilibrium constant. In this case, we want to get 1 over that. So um, 1 over Kf double primed is going to equal uh, 1.06 times 10 to the minus 15. So it's a pretty small number. So x is going to be small. We can make our usual um, approximation and we remove this. Anytime you add or subtract x, it's going to be small compared to the initial value. Um, 
what we end up with then is that um, the products of reactants, so products of both x, so we can make that x squared reactant is 3.33 times 10 to the minus 3. Again, we're ignoring that minus x um, because 1 over kf double primed is small, and that gives us 1. That's got to be equal to 1.06 times 10 to the 15, minus 15. Solve for x, and you get a value of x, which is 1.9 times 10 to the minus 9. Okay, that's the uh, concentration of cadmium. Oops. What we want to find out is the concentration of free cadmium. And to do that, we have to take into account that some of it is going to be complexed. Uh, so we do uh, the fraction of uncomplex cadmium 2 plus times the total concentration of cadmium. Um, so that's 0 0.0881. Again, the same value we used before times 1.9 times 10 to the minus 9 and that gives us a concentration of cadmium of 1.7 times 10 to the minus 10 so negative log of that will give us the PCD which is 9.77